Want to see the best Skaven Lord loadouts in multiplayer? Well, starting with Squalk, you want to make sure you take all of his abilities. He's making really good in the blob fight and are almost a necessity. As for his spells, you usually want to take Vermintide and Pestilent Birth, but a lot of people have been taking Pestilent Breath since this one is a little bit expensive now. His items, by the way, are a must. They do insane amounts of damage. One's an AoE and one's a direct target spell. Obviously, this also helps in a blob fight. And the Libra Bubonicus is also quite handy against flyers. The Gracier is a great utility lord. You'll always want to take him on his spell since it makes him extremely tanky. Both abilities are very strong too and are a must. And for his spells, usually you want to take the Dreaded 13th spell and Vermintide. Vermintide, of course, can just be used to hold the line, but Dreaded 13th is actually pretty interesting. You can use it as an AoE, a summon, and also a way to shut down artillery. The explosion does crazy amounts of damage, and by the way, overcasting doesn't actually increase its cost, it just switches between halberds and normal storm vermin. As for the items, both are quite good and you'll usually see them. Minus 4 leadership for this lower of a price is a great steal, and the warp storm scroll is amazing as anti air. You should always take it if you expect flyers. The Grey Seer of Ruin has a similar story, but he's a little bit more effective against flyers still. His abilities are both a must, and for the spells, you usually want to take the Dreaded 13th for the same reasons as before, and the Howling Warp Gale. For this spell, you want to be overcasting it by the way. It's still very cheap, and it doubles the duration. Of course, there are some other good spells too, with Death Frenzy and Scorch being the most competitive options because of their low cast time. And we have the same items as the Last Lord. Definitely ones you should be taking. Queek is a little bit different, you can see he's way cheaper than the other lords, and you usually only see him against dwarves. His abilities are quite good, but because of the circumstances, really only need trophy heads. It's enough to take down any of the dwarf lords quite handily, especially if you have infantry support in the late game. I'd recommend cutting the dwarf gouger too, since it's a little bit overkill and actually quite expensive, but if you must take another ability or item on Queek, this is probably the next best one. Snickich though outshines Queek quite a bit in many other situations. You should take Slippery on him most of the time, as it makes him very hard to hit, but much more importantly, the Deathmaster Sigil is why we see him so often. It's a great snare and it actually does quite a bit of damage. As for his items, you have to be a bit careful since taking all of them will make him a bit expensive, but the Cloak of Shadows is okay, and the Whirl of Weeping Blades is something you want to consider if you find Snickich is getting surrounded a lot. It's especially good against cavalry because of its high damage, so definitely something to consider at least. Now if you enjoy, check out the channel for more content like this.